first at eight, RTD is asking cities to partner with them in future transportation projects. Now, as Rob Harris shows us, the hope is to expand services without creating more unfinished projects. A lot of people and communities want a lot of different things from RTD. We actually saw their services contract during the pandemic rather than expand. So in response to a lot of these asks, RTD has a new pitch to communities. It wants them to come with not only their ideas, but their readiness to partner in those ideas. There's a lot of great ideas out there and we just want to have them maybe formally brought to us for us to consider. RTD is calling it its partnership program. Local governments have been asking for more localized transit services, but RTD says it has limited resources that put some of these goals out of reach. So it's asking for those governments to come up with a plan to submit that would share the costs and responsibilities of new routes and options. We hear that there are things that certain communities might need that we can't provide that a fixed route might not provide. A certain employment center needing a shuttle or maybe a senior area needing a shuttle or maybe a first mile, last mile connection to a station. We'll We'll evaluate those ideas and see if they're they're viable. We could be investing a lot more in alternative methods of transportation. This comes at a time when more people are calling for more public transit options to reduce Colorado's carbon footprint. Several people got together Tuesday afternoon in Denver to protest the funding of fossil fuel companies and a call for more investment in sustainable alternatives. I'd really like to see the service expanded. I'd like to see the state support RTD. Um, with funding so that service can be expanded and really anyone could get anywhere that they wanted to go. It's not just an environmental issue, it's an access issue to make sure that more people are able to go wherever they want and continue living independently for as long as possible. For Denver 7, I'm Rob Harris. RTD plans to start accepting proposals from cities this summer. Between now and then, RTD is encouraging everyone to send their ideas and transportation needs to your city leaders. Calls for better public transportation in the Denver Metro are nothing new, but RTD has a reputation for proposing new transit ideas and then never following through on them. Let's take an in-depth look at one of the most notorious and problematic projects. Here at Denver 7, we've spent years reporting on the long delayed train to Boulder, also known as the Northwest Rail expansion. The plan was first introduced nearly two decades ago in 2004, and at that time, Boulder taxpayers even voted to increase their taxes to fund it. But after years of empty promises and delays, RTD has only managed to build six miles worth of track. The original estimated completion date was supposed to be in 2014. It's now pushed all the way back to 2050.